Hi folks, my name is Dr. John Lapani and I'm the founding director of Princeton Neurological Surgery. I'm a neurosurgeon specializing in spinal surgery, both minimally invasive and complex. And today I'm going to discuss a basic overview of spinal surgery. A disc herniation occurs when there is a, a herniation of the softer inner material of the disc that finds its way outside the outer annulus or the, fiber, uh, the fibrous uh, outer ridge of the disc and this could place pressure on a nerve root. And if it places pressure on a nerve root, it could affect the function of that nerve root. So depending on the severity of the compression will determine the urgency in terms of when you need to get medical care. Let's talk about stenosis. What is that? That's, it's a narrowing of the bony canal through which the spinal cord runs and the nerve roots run. Stenosis can affect nerve roots or the spinal cord. And this occurs because as we get older, the bones start to get thicker and this thickening process closes down on the delicate neural elements. And the, the repair for that would be to decompress. This is one way of showing you how to decompress the nerves. You take the bone that's compressing it off and you allow the nerves and, and the, the function of the nerves to be restored. The other thing I want to mention is spinal instability. As you look at the spinal column, you'll see that it is composed of a series of joints at every segment. These joints are referred to as facet joints. And as the facet joints get older or degenerate, they also get thicker. And, and again, as they get thicker, they crowd the neural elements. But in addition to that, they can also no longer articulate properly and this could lead to instability. So the instability can occur such that one vertebral body translates upon another. And if that happens as it goes back and forth, you can imagine how it affects the spinal cord in the center and the nerve roots coming out. Uh, so in that case, it has to be stabilized. And we've all heard of spinal fusions. And we're all afraid of spinal fusions, except for me, of course, because if it's done for the right reasons, it can restore patient's quality of life and um, it can be a very, very uh, beneficial procedure. To find out more details, please visit my website at princetonneurologicalsurgery.com.